Hey you guys, Lori Frederick here with another edition of Rental Car Ergonomics. Today I have a Mazda CX-5. I don't think I've ever heard of it before I even got in this car. Um, but I do like it. Um, it's a newer car, so I like that with all the um, electronic seat adjustments and things like that. I am super happy with the headrest. It really helps right, uh, the ear stay over the shoulder while I'm in long drives like that the steering wheel does have an in and out up and down i would love for it to come a little bit further back here so on longer drives if i can hold the wheel and rest my elbows that's like my favorite thing to have in a car if this little center console could slide a little bit more forward i would have been um pg kind of happy on that one uh, I can lean a little bit into the doorway and get that rest going on so it's okay, but it still feels a little out of reach. So I would have loved a little bit more on that one. Um, lower back support is super minimal. It's got one of those little lumbar things that's that supposed to go in and out. It's this like this much movement, hardly anything. Um, but overall, it's a newer car. It has the Apple Car, Apple CarPlay setup. Um, it's got this screen up front here right here that seemed to be like it was going to be a touch screen but it wasn't and then it had this little dial for control down here so i gotta say that i was a little bit distracted trying to figure that whole thing out but other than that distraction um i really like the rest of it so i'm gonna go with a four out of five on this one um because i did like it it's comfortable it doesn't have the weird headrest but i would have liked a little bit more um distance adjusting on some things and it might have been a five so hopefully uh this helps you out if you are looking for um this mazda cx5 as a vehicle or just in your next rental car check out all the different ways that you can figure out the adjustments hope it helps see you on the next one